we have opportunities every day to say hello to a stranger. Greet people on the street, for goodness sakes. Just be kind. When people meet Rose Kelly, what they see is this light and someone that you want to be like. She has incredibly positive energy that comes out of her. And you know what? It's infectious. Rose learned to help others from the help the Salvation Army gave her single mom in raising their family. Mom was a kid who came out of Salvation Army Orphanage in El Paso, Texas. She divorced my father when I was three, went to the local Salvation Army, and they gave us food for holidays. And here's a group of people, and they're teaching us how to be thoughtful and caring. A college education may have eluded Rose as a teenager, but she returned to school later in life to complete her undergraduate degree at Montclair State. They had a special program then. It was called The Second Time Around, and my educators were so remarkable. I was shocked at the quality, and I fell in love with the school. When Rose decided as an adult to attend Montclair State to finish the college degree she had started elsewhere and earlier in her life, she thought that the university and what it offered to her was a special gift. Little did she know then that she would become an extraordinary gift to us. In 1980, Rose graduated magna cum laude and stayed connected to her alma mater. In 1991, she joined the University Board of Trustees, and she also serves on the University Foundation Board. In 1998, inspired by Yogi Berra's deeds, she led the naming of Montclair State's Yogi Berra Stadium and founded the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center on campus. Yogi had a lot of things to teach to young people. He stood up when they went on the road. They were down in the South, and Ellie Howard was on the team, and they refused to let him go into the hotel with them. So Yogi went to the hotel where Ellie had to sleep. In 2006, Rose and her husband John established a generous endowment for student scholarships in music and the arts. Her family named the newly formed School of Music in his honor. He was blown away. He loved coming to the recitals, to the presentations, and the parents would come over to him with tears in their eyes thanking him because their kids couldn't have come here. What's extraordinary about the John J. Kelly School of Music is that every student is held to the same high standard of musicianship. That's true if they're pursuing a degree in performance, music education, music therapy, musical theater, jazz studies. They are first and foremost talented musicians. What's equally extraordinary is that so many of those talented musicians would not be able to pursue their dreams, go out into the world and change it were it not for the financial support that comes from the Cali Scholarships. Rose is one of those incredibly rare people who actually takes pleasure in the accomplishments and the achievements of others. She gets enormous satisfaction if she's able to help especially young people achieve their goals. Rose is such a role model to me and to so many of my peers. We're so lucky to have someone that has been there, done that, to be able to talk to about life and about business and about work. We have learned from Rose how to be the best person, how to be the kindest, how to be the first person that gives back, that says, I can do this. Rose just effortlessly gets things done. Those of us who live in a community, we can change a lot within that community. And that is probably the most significant thing one can do. So, for her exceptional generosity and commitment to creating opportunities for Montclair State students, Rose Kelly is awarded the Mary Mushari and Michael Castro Award for Philanthropic Leadership. <laughs>